Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner for another 24 hours on the go in our hard mode adventure. So we are on our way to Drummond Island. But first of all, there is... Is it here? I've confused myself again already. I think I might have passed it. If I've passed it, we'll leave it. We'll grab it on the way back because there's two upgrades we need to get anyway. It might be down on my right. I think it is. It's down here on my right. We'll get this one. I think we've got enough fuel. We've got loads of fuel. I worry about fuel, but we've got plenty. We've still got 294 litres, and we only hold 70 litres in the tank, so we're good. We'll go and get this one. I mean, we probably could get the two. But well, as soon as we get to Drummond, I want to make a beeline for the gas station. Because... What's up there? I forget what's up there. Uh, yeah, we want to make a beeline for the gas station. Because there's uh, a fuel trailer there that's free for us to use. I think it's uh, a large, like, 6,000 litre capacity one, so... We can fill off all day on that. So if we can get there as quick as we can, we'll probably skip a lot of what's around on the way. Just triggering anything we can drive over. And then we'll head out and we'll try and hit the watchtowers, trigger the jobs, and get the last there's two upgrades in Drummond. We may be able to do all the scouting I want to do in Drummond today. And then hopefully next time out we can hit Island Lakes. But we've got to try and get down here and then back up again as yet. If you uh, <laughs> if you ever joined me a few months back for the Twitch live streams, you'll know we tried to bring a drill, uh, no not the drill piece, um, but the mobile construction trailer down here. I was hoping to drive it across the water to get it to the site and I think you can I just got my angle all wrong but anyway yeah we got stuck down at the bottom there for about 20 minutes this was on the white western star that's good yeah we got stuck down the bottom here so grounded it and then trying to get it back up it took an hour and a half an hour and then to try and finish the rest of delivering it the more obvious route another like 40 minutes I think we, sp we spent nearly a three hour stream if not more than the three hour stream or three hours of that stream I think it was a four hour stream we spent three hours on, a on that one job so this is another deliver curtain cider I'm back for that when we've got trucks on the go So I know that we have been solely in the uh, ooh, Land Rover, but that is part of what we want to do. We want to get out. We want to scout everything as much as we can. Have as much XP. Have as many of the upgrades as I can physically collect. There's one over down that way. But then we'd have to fight in the mud to get there. And then fight in the mud to get back. And then that'll be that will be fueled on. And like I say, we've got to get to the gas station, to a free fuel point. Once we get into Drummond anyway. Come on, Landy, up you come.
We've just got stock winch. We don't have an autonomous winch, so we don't want to be rolling anything. Although, I'm not sure if there even is an autonomous winch. It just says ultimate, doesn't it? And advanced. So whether they now mean autonomous, I don't know. Whether there's something that's been changed. I'm trying to think when I last saw something say autonomous winch. It's been a while. Anything down there? I don't think there is, is there? I'm not going to go down there right now. I don't think there's anything down there. I might be wrong. So, let's head off into Drummond. We have arrived. Drummond Island. So as you'll have seen from the load screen, we've got a big truck to pick up here as well. A big part of being here is getting that specific. Uh, we'll just accept that. I think there's a there's a car to go and pull out of the mud and drag back. A car? A truck. I think it's a scout. We are on a hot one to get to the gas station. Just so that I know we're safe to go off and explore and do whatever we want afterwards. And whatever we want is to hit all four of the lookout towers here. There are four lookout towers. I'll say a couple of upgrades still to get here. One of them I believe is very important for the fleet star. If I remember rightly. Won't be long before we're in another truck. We'll get there, don't worry people. There will be more vehicles. They say we're gonna do this gonna do this my way. Maybe not the conventional way. Mm, I think that's picking up stuff there, isn't it? I don't want nothing dropped down yet because we've got to travel through rivers and I can't remember if that dumps in the rivers we wanna go through. Oh, this is boggy. Let's get up on the side, shall we? Let's try, try to think, should we go and get... That look at... That's no, alright, we've got... Other th um, no, we won't. We won't do that just yet. Lookout tower over there. That's all I was trying to think.
can go down down here and trigger. I think oh, I think Cletus drops um, cargo as well, but we'll see if we can't get that as well while we're here. Because that's the only reason to come down here. I don't actually know. I think there's a trailer as well. A cement for a bridge. We have three, maybe f this is only a small map. I believe there are three or four bridges to build here. We'll read the actual uh, synopsis where we do attack all the challenges. I could read them out now, but that makes no difference because we're not doing them now. When we hit them, when we go and collect them up, we won't know why. So I'll just save all the jobs and we'll read out what we're doing and why as we go to do them. Right then, Landy, don't let me down. This is your time to shine. That's a little push. As soon as you get better traction, it just start to rise up. Not like this, this is nothing to do with the traction, but you start to rise up a little bit. Now that catches me out every time I come and try and do a delivery through there. Lost a couple of loads over the years through that, through that lump. So we will, although the gas station is the other way, we will quickly hit this uh, lookout tower here. And then there is an upgrade and a bit to trigger one of the bridge building exercises. I wonder if we can actually connect one of those flatbeds. To our Land Rover. We shouldn't be able to, but you never know. You never know with a mod, that's the thing. A mod vehicle can sometimes do things that others maybe wouldn't. Have I missed my route in? I don't think so. If it turns out that we could pull one of those sideboards or flatbed trailers, it'll feel like we've wasted a lot of time, a lot of time, and we could have been doing other things as well while out scouting. But we shouldn't be able to, so I've never assumed that we can. Our upgrade is down here. That is the off-road for the Fleet Star and the Kodiak as well. And that will unlock the purchase ability of these. So even if 
we need like two of them, which we will do because we're going to have a Kodiak at some point and we're going to be using the fleet. It's now available to purchase as well as our free one. That's how that works. Again, you know what? In 2024, when I explain these things, I am probably telling someone how to suck eggs, but you never know. You never know. Someone might have come along to this series following... Depending on when this gets out. You know, post Phase 12, or even as um, Year 4 starts. So, just don't know. Just could be telling someone something they don't know. You could even be just a general viewer of my channel and just enjoying watching me play something that you know nothing about. So this is one of the bridges. Oh, for the rangers. Now I want to see. It shouldn't fit. It doesn't look like it should. No. There's no attach. That's fine. We've not missed out on anything. We're good. We are going to refuel, though. Still got 200 and something litres. Loads of fuel. Like I do worry about being able to get places and refueling and stuff, but this this trip out has shown that we don't really need to worry about it. We've been running on the same amount of fuel since we dropped off that little fuel bowser. That's when we last refueled, isn't it? See if we can get the uh, the XP for knowledge and things. If we had the HUD up, you'd see that we get a little XP pop up as well. But we don't have the HUD, so it doesn't show. But if if that little little bit comes up saying what the trailer is, then it means it's the spinning knowledge is registered. So then I think from here... Oh, I know what we need to do. Oh, I think I... God, let's have a little look. Is it the Taurus thing up here? There's a little quest. Once lost delivery, that's going to drop a load of crates on the map as well. I think up here. Is this tourists? Yes, tourist attraction. So, hi, sweetie. It's Karen again from Steel River Township. With tourist season coming up and all the rain we've had, we've um, got to make sure that the road to uh, Hollis Island is in decent shape. Can you check it out for us? We certainly can. We should track that as well. If not, when we get there, it won't trigger. We've not done many jobs, so we haven't actually tracked anything in quite a while. Still want to go right, I believe. Then we should have a left track before we get to the non existent bridge.
or not? Is there not a track there? Oh yes, there it is. There it is. Now we're going to struggle all the way through this. We'll hit the marker and we'll tell her, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> For us, we'll be good. I mean, I can tell you by looking at it there that <laughs> this is not good. I was hoping that log was going to give us a little lift. something to try and help get us over this. There we go. Again, slow and steady. If we had this in automatic or even in probably low high all the time, we'd just bury ourselves. First bit of money we've earned as well. 500 notes. Not a lot, but it'll do. And as you can see, our gas station is now just over yonder. Put the diff back on. up on some sort of earth. We're a little bit low in the uh, in the water there. There we go. Boom. Again, I believe this is all for us. So we shall. Fill up everything. Lovely job. Right, we don't need my wrestling being tracked. But we do have a lookout tower to go and get there. So we'll come out, we'll go around the back, hit the lookout tower. Then we're going to come over here because over there we've got a truck. Just turn around. And the Pacific, I believe, is in perfect nick. And you can just get out and start doing stuff with it. 
So we could even spend a bit of time maybe opening up some bridges, just the basic wooden bridges here. Although I would like to stick to the plan a little bit and unlock the maps. I get torn. I get torn between doing what I, th what I want to do, like with regards to what I've said we're going to do and, and stick to a plan and be logical with it. And then there's the me that wants to just get out and razz around in a big truck. A little bit close. Just to get automatic, we're good for a bit, I think. Yeah, there's some cargo down there that now needs picking up. You might notice on the map when we had it open, there's a few on the bow. So we've got some more cement blocks that are for bridge building, but not for a bridge near here. So that's for another bridge. I think we're all right in, in auto. spray it's a beautiful thing <laughs> Speaking of, a beautiful thing. There we have it. Not bad at all, hey? We just try and get somewhere for... Maybe a screenshot. We'll have that. That'll do us. Right. I'm thinking, what, what I will do is as quickly as I can. I might try and get those bridges done. Um, because P16 is a monster. This will probably be the most powerful truck we own for a long time. Only downside to this beast is it doesn't have all-wheel steering. Diff lock is always on. No all-wheel drive. But it does have some gumption. It's got the turn and circle of an aeroplane. But this, when it comes to us moving some loads about, this is going to get it done for us. An absolute monster, this is. We might find sometimes we have to stick it in low gear because of the lack of all wheel drive. But you just sort of keep your foot down, maintain course. <laughs> And uh, she'll get you there. So we're going to head over to the logging yard. What we want to do actually is go get the logs. 
There's some wood. Way back. That's so what I mean by the uh, the turn and circle is not good. Some logs over by one of those uh, towers in a trailer. So we may, I think we might have to purchase some lot, some uh, some wood for a bridge. We'll see how it goes. But having the bridges set up will definitely make it. It's not going to go across there, is it? Not going to go across there at all. I'm trying to think, is there a better route? Oh, I think. Is there not a little canyon -y bit here? Is this not the one with the canyon? I think it is. It's not much of a canyon, but... Damn the turn and circle. Let's go, big boy. I think there isn't any wood nearby, is there? So we're going to have to go down that crappy road. It's not a road. And just hope that we've got the power to just keep pushing. Having like, quite a wide wheelbase and a long wheelbase. Uh, it distributes your weight nicely, so you don't go as deep as uh, you would with a smaller vehicle. Plus, obviously, there's multiple tyres there. Let's just get rid of that. That's in the way. So it all dis uh, disperses the, uh, the weight of the vehicle nicely. See? We don't sink. Although as we're as heavy as we are, we don't sink half as much as we did in the Land Rover. Lights are a bit poor on this though. And that's what I mean by sometimes you just gotta stick it in low gear. Just keep moving. Come on. What are we stuck on? Just give me a little bit. Just the slightest little wiggle. Come on. certain what we're getting stuck on there. Oh, the rock underneath. Damn rock. Oh, damn you, Rocky. Let's hope we get enough time to uh, like the wooden builder bridges. We 
what you need is a little snow plow fitting on the front, like a little, little rock pusher. Help get rid of some of the crap that gets in the way. Oh, I was going to say, I need to mind the stumps. I mean, yeah. Found one. Now, I've seen other people traverse that same journey a lot smoother. <laughs> I just want to check. I don't think there are any wood beams in there, are there? No. So I think I am going to have to auto do it. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there, am I? I think I could just power through, but not with this. Should I just go through here, though? Always look to try and find the easiest route. You might be able to get through that. Call it the first hurdle being the tiniest rock. Job. Low gear helps to make that slightly more attainable. Not massively, but slightly. Big boy. We get in there.
the Pacific is one of those trucks you just can't rush. It'll do it in its own time. Just be patient. So yeah, there's, there's first few wood for each one. Definitely, definitely going to have to purchase some wood, and I think. I think it's 150 to load automatically because we've not got nothing to manually load with, unfortunately. But we really want that second wooden bridge opened. I'm just going to have to find somewhere to dump this trailer. somewhere being here. It is a shame that you can't sell trailers on even on hard mode I think. Even if you only got because they're not worth a lot. If you got half, or even if you got a quarter of their value. Twenty five percent. Because you just end up with a map littered with trailers. What are you specific, supposed to do with them? Because some of you only need for that particular delivery. And when it gets to like the next stage of the jobs, you're going to use your bigger trailers to cart, hopefully, as, as much of your materials as possible as you can. Or you'll just be using the same two or three slot cargo trailer. You won't need... <laughs> 10 uh, sideboard trailers. You just won't. see the stump this time. Slightly more mindful of it. Trying to figure how late in the day it is. I think it's coming up for early morning. Hard to tell. I mean, we finished the other day at the wrong sort of time, so... A couple of episodes ago. I think the last episode was a bit longer. I think we started early and then uh, probably finished a little bit late as well. It's not a must, you know, but you work 8 till 8. It's just a good way of keeping track of time. series it does help to keep you know the episodes to, to about an hour a little more a little less right so since we haven't got anything to put them in manually with we are going to have to purchase them so that's 300 I think that's our first expenditure outside of vehicle upgrades But the last bridge gave us a grand, so if this one gives us a grand, that's not the worst loss, is it? How are we doing for fuel? We're good. Our tyres are a bit knackered, aren't they? I just noticed that. Uh, 
That must be the one that maybe hit a, hit a rock or a stump. Like that. So you could you could turn a bus a bit easier. You could turn an air bus easier, I think. I think that's one of the things that I do like. One of many things that I do like about Snowrunner and all the trucks that there are. There are there are those that are generally seen as the better vehicles, the better trucks, the better all-rounders. Like every truck has a flaw somewhere. There's a trade-off. Look at this. The power and the grit to go, especially early on, for somewhere like Michigan. You cannot fault it. But the speed, the turn and circle, They aren't great. But if we can get this eventually, after doing a few jobs around here, we get this to the dam, and then get this to Blackwater, which I've never done. I've never brought this as, as far back as um, Blackwater, Black River. Because I've always done other trucks have done different things. I've always had the DLC. This is the first time I've done a hard mode, so... We're going to have to take this all the way back. To be able to do some of those jobs. Because we've just not got a, a truck that's going to compete in the same way there. Sometimes you've just got to make your own route. No way I was going to fanny around trying to weave through that. Um, which way do I want to go, though, for the bridge? I think I wanted to go that way. And I just forced myself somewhere I don't want to be now. That's frustrating. Right. Be like an 11 point turn. Trailer will follow. It's all good. That's not good. What is good is that there is a repair trailer not too far away. I'd like to get some more fuel.
Again, it's going to have to be a bit of a, an annoying multi-move maneuver. Yeah, we should be able to move. I feel like this night has lasted a long time. I think that's probably why I ended up finishing early a few, a few episodes ago, because the night just feels so long. I think the sun will come up and then there will just be so much sun. Make sure we're tracking it before we get down there, that'll be... Uh, <laughs> Pain in the ass if not. We'll have to jump back to our Land Rover and trigger it. Or we just go in the menu and trigger it actually. You'd have to drive through, but I like to do it that way. It's a beast, isn't it? It is a beast. Once we can get a few upgrades on it as well. Monster. And that's why it's important to try and find as many of these upgrades as we can. Because we're going to need them. Because we're going to need this to pull big loads through multiple maps at a time. Of breaches and men. 100 XP and another 1,000 in our pocket. Again, we lost 300 off that because we did purchase... The, uh, the wood port. We'll get across. We'll check our time, because that might be time on this episode. But that's opened up the bridges, which is going to make it easier for us to get our Land Rover back over here. Don't think there's anything big to bring, to bring back through here, other than maybe that fuel trailer at some point. So, oh, we're just rolling away. We'll roll away. And leave the trailer there. Attach the trailer. Where's the time? Oh, it's only half past three. Look, loads of time left. We need to make sure this is somewhere else, though. Somewhere where it's not just going to bury instantly. Here yeah, looks good. Bury here. So let's jump back in our Land Rover. Because we have lookout towers to hit, and I think one more. One more upgrade on here to get. This is going to feel very different now after being in the uh, Pacific. There we go. The the Pacific has left some uh, some some deep and big ridges for us. It certainly has. Let's have a little winch. Let's just get us out of there. Come on. Let's faff in. Because ideally, we wouldn't be using the Pacific to. Then you should take it out in there. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> do we sink in the mud? Um, yeah, we don't want to do all the uh, bridge building and the contract deliveries and what have you. 
with the uh, Pacific. It'll be too slow. Way too slow. Plus, there's very limited trailers you can put on it, and we need to go all the way back to... All the way back to um, Dam anyway, to put a trailer on it. So we sort of have to try and meet ourselves in the middle, uh, with the dam being the main spot where we want to get to, with uh, most of our fleet, I think. Again, having never done hard mode, not 100% on that, and how that would play out. I want to be over there, don't I? Sure I do. We probably won't need the more fuel, but we'll top up. This is what you do when it's free. Get as much as you can, whenever you can. Again, we've we've got the. Uh, so you see, we're in hard mode. <laughs> there was uh, this going over on that running. Because I couldn't get the tyres I wanted beforehand, really, I need to go back with the uh, Land Rover to put them on before I head into um, the lakes. Island Lake. I don't always call it the lakes. I do though. And I don't need to. <laughs> Let's try to get up on this side. Did we pick up the job? I don't think we did. Just check. Lost deliveries. Cousin Cletus, which is a couple of really challenging pickups. Mud wrestling. So we haven't. No. Ah, oh, that's here then. I want to pick up the job there. Because that is um, over by where I want to go for the for the lookout tower. Sorry. annoying because it's going to feel like such a waste of a day having to go all the way back because that's how long it's going to take us to get there maybe I'll once we've done what I need to do here maybe I'll take a 
a day off the series and I'll just drive up to the garage and then drive back down here again with our new tyres. There is a repair point as well, so we should be able to repair our truck and restock our repairs, I think, as well. Forged by the sea. Tilney again. A little birdie told me that a cargo ship was washed ashore not too far from here. Hypothetically, if my employer was interested in that cargo and would pay you to retrieve it, would that spark your interest? So that's where we're going. Because that is close to where I want to go. Oh, it's morning. <laughs> we'll finish that off next time. What is time? It's, oh, we're all right. We might be able to get closer. We'll see. No, we will. We'll save it because I think this is a, a longer one, anyway, isn't it? So we'll leave it there. That'll be it. I've got to pause time there. Uh, so we're going to go off next time. We're going to hit the last two outposts on here. We'll pick up the um, the last upgrade. We'll see if there are any little jobs we can do with a scout on here. I know there's a scout challenge. We can go and do that. So there are some things we can do to earn some money. And then I think after that episode will be when I shoot back to the dam, get some tyres, come back again. So we can pick up where we left off because we, we, we want to be where we are. I don't want to do a, a whole episode of me just driving back to the garage and driving back again because that's all there will be to do. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, we got to get out in the Pacific uh, P16. Beautiful truck. Big beast. That is going to come in handy. If you have enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. There's always comments and feedback down there. We do a separate SnowRunner stream over on Twitch. That does get uploaded on here as well. Um, that is a completely different rate from anything else. Uh, if you want to come and see us do that live, you'll follow me over on Twitch. Uh, we have a little bit of fun with that one, using lots of different vehicles, different mods. We take risks. It's a drama. So yeah, if you want to come check that out, Mr. Farquhar over on Twitch. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.